I have a question. Have you ever quit coffee? Well, I'm about to. Starting next week, I'm giving up my beloved coffee. And yes, that includes Cuban cafecito, which as my fellow morning people know, is going to be quite the challenge for me. It's only temporary. But it got me wondering how I should expect to feel once I go cold turkey, other than, you know, really, really tired. So today's Lauren's List breaks down some of the side effects of quitting coffee. First up, we've got weight fluctuations. Weight loss sounds great, but weight gain could happen too. Research shows daily consumption of caffeine and coffee, tea, or soft drinks increase daily sugar levels by nearly 10%, boosting their risk of cardiovascular disease and obesity. But coffee can also be an appetite suppressant, so eliminating it could lead to more snacking and craving for sugary treats, so I'll have to be aware of that. Next, better sleep. So I know the lack of coffee will have me feeling pretty tired at first, but I'm hoping I benefit from the effect of sleeping better at night, too. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine found that caffeine intake, even six hours before bedtime, can disrupt a person's sleep cycle that night. Headaches. I definitely know cutting caffeine causes some pretty bad headaches. When I quit soda for good last year, the headaches were rough, and thus I turned to even more coffee. No bueno. To minimize this, you should cut your intake just a little bit every two or three days rather than just quit coffee altogether. I'm down to just one little shot of coffee. Antioxidant loss. All right, so research shows coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in the American diet. These antioxidants help reduce the risk of everything from breast cancer to Parkinson's and increases bone health. But don't worry, you can make up for it by replacing coffee with antioxidant-rich tea, fruits, and veggies. So no excuses there. Now, I'm not saying you should quit coffee. I'm only wondering if you have. Tell me, how did it go? You can reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter. And if you have an idea for a future Lauren's List, send it my way to Maribel. Are you going to join me in solidarity next week? Absolutely not. I'm bracing <laughs> myself for what I am, I am in for. It. I'm sorry in Having advance. to deal with you, my friend. <laughs> I will support you, but I will drink it behind your back. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I can't. <laughs>